Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. This one is to do with David's tea. But before I get started, make sure to leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. And if you have not already, be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of when there is any new content. So as promised, today I am testing out the samples I got when I did my David's tea order. I said I would do them live like a first impressions. I guess this isn't really live, but you'll see the video in like a bit. But um, this is like a first impressions video. So one of the samples I got was the Davis Tea Buddha's Blend White Tea. So this is the one I will be trying. I have my cup. And I'm also going to be trying the Davis Tea Steeper Ball, which I have never used before. But this one, apparently they had an older one that uh, I never got to try. But this one has like smaller holes. So I'm interested to see if any uh, loose tea gets in my drink. So, what I understand is, yeah, you just pull the top off, so I got this open. I'm just going to jump right into it because I know, like, it takes time to steep. So, I'm just going to shake this. I kind of just want to create, like, a small slot so I can get it in the steeper ball. Okay, let's see if I can not fail at this. Some guy in my cup. There we go. I will say, just from dumping it in, it has like this really um, fruity smell. It's almost like I'm about to eat like a... Um, uh, what are those like fruit cups? It's like those fruit cups have like the peach and the pineapple in it. But I will say, first off, I give the smell a 5 out of 5. I'm hoping this tastes as good as it smells. So, from what I understand is you just put this over like that. So, it's in the steeper ball, which we are going to put in the cup. And I have the water here, and we're going to just pour the water in the cup. I like bubbles. Well, I will say I am seeing floaties in my drink. Um, it's okay. Kinda, I'm kind of not thrilled by that, but... Okie dokie. I'm um, just gonna take, maybe I can like take a video and post it over with my phone. So as you can see, there is some floaties. Yes, this is a used cup because I had a regular tea in it. But as you can tell, there is floaties in the drink. So I'm not too impressed with the steeper ball on that, so I might have to get some filters. Not too thrilled about the floaties. That's okay though. Uh, so this has to steep for two to three minutes, so while we, that is steeping, um, I'm going to read the package. So this is, as I said, the David's Tea Buddha's Blend. Uh, it says, we don't like to brag, but we're pretty sure we found the key to achieving nirvana. It's easier than you think. Just sip a cup of this delicately fruity jasmine scented white tea. So it is fruity. Ingredients, white tea, green tea, jasmine pearls, white hibiscus. I still probably say that wrong. Uh, blossoms, natural and artificial flavor. I'm actually surprised there's green tea in this then. But okay, I can get where I guess like the fruity flavor smell now. Okay, that makes sense. So 60 ounce cup, which this works for. Fine enough. Uh, one packet, hot water, two to three minutes. This is number two medium cafe. Caffeine? Cafe. Caffeine. And yeah. 
So I got this in my David's Tea order, and this is a white tea, and it's the Buddha, Buddha, okay, Buddha blend. So let that steep for another minute. Um, I guess I can do a little chit chat. Um, so I have like looking. I just burnt myself on this. I'm just gonna do that away now. Okay. I have looked through my videos and I figured like what I like doing more so I think my niche is not really so the makeup videos but I'm pretty like like it seems like my niche in YouTube is becoming like podcast, knitting, crochet, reviews, unboxings sort of deal. So I think I'm going to stick to that. I am kind of falling behind on the pan that palettes but I feel like I'm like there's so many makeup channels out there. So where, like, I don't mind doing the whole unboxings, reviews, thoughts, working more to the review, podcasts, and crochet side of YouTube. I think there's, like, already enough people, like, there's already a lot of, I'm not saying, like, enough, like, there is still more channels that could potentially grow. Um, but, I feel like I've really strayed away over the years, like, I'm 20 years old, high school is when I did the makeup and stuff, but now almost being 21... I feel like I'm just going to stick to like the podcast and reviews and such. So yeah. So it's been about two minutes since I poured this. So I'm just going to take that out. Again, not impressed over how many floaties I'm seeing in this cup. You can probably see a few there. don't want to pour it on my computer. Um, I'm going to check back in with you just in a few because I need to let this cool and I'm hoping all the floaties will float to the bottom or maybe I can just go like filter it with a filter and such. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go try that and I will check back in with you, which for you, it'll only be like a second, but for me, it will be probably like 20 minutes. So I will be back. Hello and I am back. So with the succession of a coffee filter, I managed to uh, strain quite a bit of floaties out. And to show you, these were the floaties. So there was some in there. Ah, cat making weird noises. Because she is sleeping. So, I think this has cool. There's still like a fair bit, but you can't see as many. So, first off, before I start, I do give the smell a 5 out of 5. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> um, okay, it looks looks like you're having like a a green, you'd almost swear you're like having a regular tea with no milk. Some teas do come out this color. So, here we go with the Davis Tea Buddha's blend. So, so hopefully it tastes as good as it uh Smells. Hmm. I'd almost swear I'm drinking a mix of green tea and a different tea. So I actually am quite impressed. And I didn't think I'd like this one, but... Okay. Like I said, I swear I'm drinking two different teas in one, and it doesn't bother me. Because I am one of those people that loves green tea, so I definitely... This is a tea I would definitely get a can of, I will admit. I definitely approve this tea. Um, yeah, it tastes good. Taste is 5 out of 5. <laughs> I actually didn't think this would taste good. I had my doubts. But, okay. I am proved wrong. This tea, so smell, 5 out of 5. Ta ta taste, 5 out of 5. But, however, I do have to give the steeper ball a 2 out of 5. Even though I technically wasn't reviewing this, but I am definitely not impressed with it, with the loose leaf... Lo loose tea leaves that were in my tea. Uh, so I don't, you can guys can let me know in the comments below if I was using it correctly. But um, I've, as of right now, I am not impressed with the steeper ball, so I gave it two out of five. 
I mean, other people, like, other people, like, I'm not saying don't buy this product, obviously, but, like, the choice is yours. This is just my personal opinion. So, for reasons of there was tea leaves in my drink, I give it a 2 out of 5. I am sorry. But for the tea, it gets a complete 5 out of 5. So I'm going to sign off and finish this delicious tea because it actually tastes pretty freaking good. Um, so yeah, this was the Buddha's Blend White Tea and I will be definitely getting a can of it when it is in the budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what your favorite Buddha... Well, comment below what your... I was going to say Buddha tea, but it's like... Well, okay. Um, comment below what your favorite Davis tea is, and if you happen to like the Buddha's Blend, tell me why, or if it's a different tea, tell me why you like it. Um, maybe recommend me some more teas to try. Uh, make sure to uh, also like this video if you like David's tea, and as if you're subscribing, then be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified of any new videos. And, well... Yes, this is the end of this video, so hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next video.